Hello again. So next, when we run the Nutanix Foundation, it will take you to this page right here that will show you the installation. So you see, welcome to Nutanix Installer. And here you select your hardware platform. So you can choose any hardware you have in your environment and start the installation for this kind of hardware. So in this example, he chose Nutanix hardware because he have a Nutanix block. Then he leave this information as by default. Then he give it the mask network, the net mask, then the get UI as I explained in the preview lecture. Then the same mask for the EP management and the same get UI for the EP management. So right here you see it automatically detects the network interface that you want to use in your laptop. For example, if you have a laptop with two network adapter, he asks you to choose which one that you want to use to start the installation through the network adapter. So by default, you use the Ethernet 0. And here is it, the IP address that we give it to the configuration of this virtual machine. So automatically detected and here the interface that he will use to connect to the network. So we click next and here it will search for the node to detect any node available in your network. So right here, because we use the same IP of the network, he will use the IP version 6 LAN broadcast to detect any node available in the same network of the virtual machine that we use the VM foundation. So right here, he already found that we have a block that have three nodes with the different information and the IP because the user of this block already used the block to complete the installation. So he automatically found the different IP management, the host IP, the CVM IP and the host name. So in case we have an empty block, we can remove the encircled row and use the installation from a new fresh. So here is it. We click on here to instead add node manually. That means we can add it manually if the installation did not detect the different node we have in the network. So if we click on it, it will ask us for the number of the block. We have one block and we have three nodes. Here is it. And I have configured their EPM to my desired EP address. That means you already configure the EP management with the EP address list that you have. If not, you can use the MAC address to connect to the different nodes. So in this example, we're going to use the EP management interface. That is it. We click add to add three nodes for one block. So here is it. We see a list from the different IP we need. Here is it. Then we can choose auto range to give it the different IP management interface address. So if you don't have the IP management address, you can use the second option. Here is it. We add one block, three nodes. And if we don't have the IP management address, we can use the MAC address because the MAC address, we can get it manually from the hardware. So here is it. No, it will give you the capability to choose the IP management interface MAC address. That means you add the MAC address exactly of every node and then you give it an IP management address that will be assigned to the host or to the node. Then you give it the host IP, the CVM IP and the host name. So this is one of the techniques to add your node a fresh new node without needing to have an IP management already pre-configured. So right here we add the IP MAC address of every host, then we give it an IP management interface address, then the host IP, for example this IP, and then the CVM IP that we want to use after getting the different MAC address. So right here we click next, then it will ask for the cluster name, for example this name, we need to give it a cluster name, then the time zone, we give it a time zone, for example, Casablanca. Then we have the redundancy factor, as I tell you. So right here, you see that we have three nodes. We cannot select the RF3 because we have less than four nodes. We have only 
three nodes, so it is only allowed by the RF2. Then the cluster virtual EP, the one that we can use it to connect to the file cluster. Then the NTP server for every CVM, every CVM will get an NTP server. Then the DNS server for every CVM. And the VRAM allocated for every CVM. So for example, we give it 32 to get the file benefit of the Nutanix solution, the Acropolis operation system.